The story, narration, and pictures were all created by artificial intelligence. Enjoy. I had been living in my new apartment for a few weeks now, and I was starting to feel like I was finally settling in. It was a small one-bedroom place, but it was cozy and comfortable. I had just finished unpacking the last of my boxes when I heard a strange noise coming from the other room. At first I thought it might be the wind blowing through the window, but then I realized that the noise was coming from inside the apartment. It sounded like someone was walking around in there, but when I went to investigate, there was no one there. I shrugged it off as my imagination playing tricks on me and went back to what I had been doing before. But then the noise started again, this time louder than before. It sounded like someone was dragging something across the floor. My heart started racing as fear began to take over me. I knew that no one else should be in my apartment, and yet here this noise was coming from inside it. I slowly crept towards the bedroom door and peered inside. To my horror, there was a figure standing in the corner of the room, shrouded in darkness. The figure didn't move or make any sound at all. It just stood there silently watching me with an eerie presence that sent chills down my spine. My mind raced with questions as to who or what this figure could be and why it had chosen my apartment as its home. I wanted to run away, but something kept me rooted to the spot, some kind of invisible force that seemed to be holding me back from leaving this place of terror behind me. Suddenly, a voice spoke out from within the darkness. You don't belong here, it said in a deep, raspy voice that sent shivers down my spine once more. The figure stepped forward into the light and revealed itself to be an old woman with long white hair and piercing blue eyes that seemed to look right through me. She continued speaking. This is not your home, she said with an air of authority that made me feel powerless against her words. I wanted nothing more than to run away from this place, but something kept me rooted to where I stood, some kind of invisible force that seemed determined not to let me go until she had said her piece. You must leave now she commanded, before turning away and disappearing into thin air once more leaving only her chilling words behind her. This is not your home. I quickly gathered up what few belongings I had left behind and ran out of that apartment as fast as my legs could carry me, never looking back until I reached safety.